Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds. Today we're we'll dealing with the 1973 Land Rover Range Rover. Now this has 1,356 horsepower, 1,021 pounds feet of torque from a 7.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 and it weighs 3,160 pounds. It's got all-wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension. It can do not 16.3.932 seconds, go up to 105.433 seconds and go into a top speed of 201 miles an hour so uh, yeah that's a pretty fast uh, start so let's see what it can do so yeah the obvious comparison to this is going to be the Jeep Grand Cherokee track court which is also an SUV like this but obviously there are a few differences obviously age wise this is a lot older it's 45 years older and then obviously this has more power less weight it's not as quick to 60 but it is quicker to 100 and uh, yeah, that extra power is certainly going to make a difference. But whether or not the uh, components that are a lot older that haven't been able to be changed can deal with what the power it's got now, as well as obviously this off road course is obviously to be seen. Now, the uh, good thing about that Jeep Grand, uh, Grand Cherokee was that it was really rather stable. So uh, this car needs to be stable and just as fast, if not faster to at least match that Jeep's time. At the moment it's dealing alright. Obviously it's had legendary off-road uh, abilities in stock form. So it should hopefully we have them still here even with all the extra changes. Anticipating that this will at least beat the Morris Minor from the previous episode. Because obviously that car, even though it was quite quick for a vehicle of its type, was nowhere near, even with all the upgrades, suited to this kind of thing. Well, we're not going to beat the Grand Cherokee, unfortunately. But it looks like at 3 minutes, four, 5 seconds, 0 0.018, that we are the second quickest. Um, we're in fact only about one and a bit seconds slower than the Jeep, which considering this is a lot older, is dealing with far more power than it ever had originally, whereas that Jeep Grand Cherokee wasn't. It was only dealing about 300 horsepower more, because it, you know, it had more than 700 horsepower stock, so and this didn't even have 150, so... Uh, yeah, fairly impressed by that. I imagine if, you know, I gave it several more goals, I'd get that time a bit further down, but we always keep it to one uh, run to, uh, you know, make it a bit fairer, so we're not, you know, constantly trying to get as many uh, uh, little bits of seconds back. But, yeah, I'm still fairly impressed by that. It smashed the Volkswagen Baja bug by more than four seconds and easily beating the Morris Minor and the Bentley 8-litre and far ahead of the Porsche 959 rally car by more than 10 seconds so uh, yeah really impressed by this I uh, guess I shouldn't have been so surprised considering it is a car that was built for going off road anywhere but I was just unsure whether or not it would be able to deal with the amount of power that they're giving it because you know it has more than 1200 horsepower than it had originally so uh, it was a big ask but the additional upgrades obviously helped and uh, the car's off road abilities certainly shone through there Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.